Okay, so you have a hard drive or an SSD drive of some sort that you want to get rid of or retire, but you've used that drive for years. Um, or an SD card that you've put in and out of your camera systems or your video cameras and you think the footage is gone or that the photos are gone. Well, I assure you, unless you've done a format properly, they are not. They're still in the drive. So we're going to show you how that happens. Um, so here is an SD card from a Canon camera and it's only 16 gigs. I tried to find the smallest card I had to make this a little bit quicker. And I've already run the forensic tools on here after I did a complete format the proper way and removed all traces of any other previous files. And you can see that over here. Um, this is what's left on the drive after I formatted it properly and we'll go into that in a later video but for now I want to show you what's going to happen when you think your footage or your photos are gone and this will work with anything other than videos and footage uh, of videos and photos it'll work with anything you put on a drive okay but for this purpose I'm using photos um, because that's primarily what people don't want is any identifiable uh, pictures or anything like that floating around. So let's pretend we're going to take all these photos, okay, and we're going to put them on our SD card. All right, it's copying. All right, so we'll close out our sample data folder, open up our SD card, and as you can see, here are all of our photos. Okay, let's say these are pictures of family and friends and whatever else. It could be a video file, it could be Word docs, it could be Excel spreadsheets, it could be business information, whatever. All right, so let's say, okay, we're done. We don't need these anymore. All right, so we're going to go ahead and move these to the trash. And this is for a Mac system, by the way, if you haven't already noticed. Uh, essentially, it'll work the same way on a PC or Windows unit. You have a trash bin or recycling bin and okay so we've moved them to the trash well everybody knows okay eventually we're going to empty that trash so let's empty that trash do you want to empty the trash yes okay so we think this thing is clearing well i got news for you let's find out so we have our forensic software over here and we'll go to that particular drive and we will do a recovery on it. So let's see what it pulls up. Stand by. Okay, so I wanted to show you real quickly the scan of that SD card is still continuing. We have 14 minutes left and we've been moving for less than a minute so far and it's already detected 39 photos. Now remember, we've already deleted all of this. I can open this up and there's nothing on this drive, but yet it's already picking up files. So if we click here, oh, looks like, looks like all of the pictures that we deleted are still in here. Isn't that something? The file names, the date that it was made, the size, the type, and we can even find them in our trash bin because whether you like it or not, that trash is recoverable, which is why it leaves a 501 folder on here. Even though our trash has been emptied, you can see all the photos and I can preview those and see what they are just by clicking on them. Now, of course, these are all the same screenshot because I just duplicated the files. So as you can see, we can scan the entire disk instead of just that single partition and it may or may not bring up more files that you thought were gone. Uh, but for this particular example, we're not gonna do that because we know what I put on here and what I deleted. Now, in order to fully and securely erase everything on a hard drive or an SSD drive, you need to go 
and again this is from Mac you will go up and into your utilities you will go to your disk utility you will find your drive and be careful with this make sure you select the right drive and you will go to erase pick your format change the name if you want to but make sure you go to security options this is where you're going to find your secure erasing um, algorithms the default is the fastest basically what that does is it wipes everything off the drive just like your trash would and removes it frees up your space the next little tick mark here gives you a two pass this is the minimum you'll want to do then you'll have a three pass which is um, what the federal government uh, the Department of Defense the DOD deems as a minimum for their um, standard operating procedures then of course you can go up to a seven pass now there are other programs out there that'll do uh, higher than seven pass and numbers in between but for this example we're just going to do a two pass and we'll see what the end result is now this is going to take some time depending on the size of your drive and how much data it's actually having to overwrite um, so depending on how many passes you want the longer it's going to be so again we're going to do a two pass and once this is done i'll get back to you and we'll go on from there stand by okay so we're back and here is the formatted card as you can see operation was successful it mounted the disk it did two pass secure erase so now when we do a, a scan with our forensic tool we should not find any hidden files so we're going to go ahead and do that now and i will get you the result shortly stand by okay so here we are we have finished our scan after having done a secure erase of our SD card and as you can see nothing has populated that is worth recovering so moral of the story is if you have files and footage and media um, documents whatever on a hard drive that you've erased it is still there and it is still recoverable regardless of whether or not it's a hard disk drive with spinning platters or a solid state drive like an SD card or flash card or an SSD drive um, it is still recoverable so remember that in the next set of videos I'm going to show you the other tools that can be used to securely erase files on here that will eliminate the need to format your car completely especially if it's a drive and you wish to maintain um, all of the other documents or materials on that drive um, but you don't want to have anything that's recoverable so I'm going to show you the steps on that in an upcoming video but for now hope you enjoyed it hope you learned something and on to the next.